So this is a little update on what's been happening to me. Um, it's day 246 of the snake diet. I'm coming in, it's a Thursday. I'm coming in at 278 pounds. I was 272.8 pounds yesterday, but I went on a crazy binge. I was trying to figure out what to have for tea yesterday. I had eggs, I had six eggs yesterday for dinner. So I didn't really need to eat anything. Um, I had that cooked drink guy put up on my family wanted a takeaway and we just got into the raw tin to the all one day so we can't have that we've been to that takeaway before that's rubbish and we ended up getting chippy in the end went to the chippy and saying oh i tell you what you know in october 80 percent on the prices of gas and stuff everything's going up and i fell into that trap and i got myself cod and chips for me personally which and saying, oh, you could drop your buying it now because you won't be able to afford it in October. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. You've put all these chocolate prices up, put all the fish prices up, all the beef prices up, all the prices go up every year, on year on year, it doesn't matter how much I go up. I always find a way to pay for things. Um, and it's not that hard. Normal people who can't afford to buy stuff are either in debt up to the eyeballs and that's who most of them will use the food banks because of that or they're just really 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 shite at being financial um savvy savvy and um and that's about it i've never actually seen even when i was homeless i never went without food because i was savvy savvy ah I, I don't know how to go oh, crazy there but anyway as it is um, because um, what I did last night, I had cod and chips, and then I had a meat pie, and then I had two scallops, and then I had half of apple pie, family apple pie, then I had four chocolate bars, and I had a big tub of coleslaw. I just went crazy, and then I woke up this morning, and this had happened to me. I got myself a diabetes bruisey tingy thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's not good, not good at all. And you know, if you go on it, and I've got this, I'm not sure we can see it because the light's going a bit fingered at the moment. The veins are starting to pour through. A lot of people say that uh, you're getting old and stuff like that, but I've noticed the pattern that every time I eat sugary stuff or Things that have been fried, deep fried, and eating potatoes and battered stuff and just chocolate and pastries and stuff like that. I break out the next day when I wake up, I've broken out in some kind of um, vein um, that I've popped up through my skin. Some of, some of them go red. Um, I pop up in that tingy stuff, what all people tend to get. And that bruise one I've got there. I get some of the some of the bruises pop up and then start to fade away as long as I don't eat any sugar. The veins on that's kind of not going away. It did go down a bit, but um, yeah, I think they're with me for a long time now. I'm just trying to check in my body. I can just see things. So yeah, it doesn't matter how much weight you lose. You gotta I gotta stop eating sugar and pastry and cakes and stuff like that if unless i want to look like a giant bruise and die um diabetes or something so yeah that's my update that's my update 278 pounds i mean i've put on 18 pounds since 260 i was 280 somewhere um I can feel myself going down. I just keep ending up in the traps. Traps. Chocolate bars go up in price. Like, let's say, um, I can get four twirls. I get them in a multi pack. Uh, they used to be 98p for Master. And we bought loads of them. Loads. I'm telling you, absolutely loads. And then in the past, like, month, we've run out of them. And it's like, we probably bought, like, hundreds. And then we go to the shops, and it's, it's like they've gone up to £1.50 for four. But if you go to Asda, it's one twenty-five a pack. If you go to 
Tesco, I think it's 125 a bag. Morrison's are taking the PIWS at the moment by charging the same prices as Sainsbury's. I think it's going to have been bought out by another uh, company. But yeah, they're trying to jack the prices up. But the, when you actually think about it, uh, 150 for four chocolate bars. The chocolate bar's got like a really good calorie content going on there. You know, you know it's less than 50p a go. Um, at one fifty, so fifty pound one fifty. So you're basically getting three for fifty p each and one for three. That's the way I look at it. Is that's what happens when the prices go up? You justify where the price rises, and then you get used to it, and then it becomes cheap again. Well, it doesn't buy it anyway. I I think it was cheap in the first place. I still think it's cheap, but I only think it's cheap because it's a it's an opposite of a superfood. Instead of it being a superfood, it's a super bad for your food. And you'd think it would be a lot more dearer. That's what I thought. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm affording the chocolate still. Oh, I can switch brands, you know. I'll go to somewhere like Aldi and get the Snickers. And the Mars bars. And it just tastes just as good anyway. So, it doesn't really matter to me. I probably banged on about this stuff before, but I'm just trying to get it stuck in my head. You can bring out a million excuses. You know, oh, the electric's gone up, oh, gas has gone up, oh, so um, we're going to have to charge all this money extra. And then you're like, oh, I can't believe it's all gone up. And then a couple of months later, you're like, oh, okay, I don't even remember. Did it go up? I don't know, I'm not sure. You know it did, but you just, well, it doesn't matter no more because you're buying bigger multiple packs so like i go to like a, a warehouse for the public it's like a discount of place and if there's anything there that i like and most of the time it's all crap anyway and carby and stuff but sometimes to come along with some stuff where you just you just buy loads of it and it just lasts your ages so yeah my update is pretty much um Still on the two hundred and eighty pounder. I'm hovering in the two seventies, and I've been hovering in the two seventies for a long, long time. I used to be hovering in the two seventies to the two eighties. Now I'm hovering just under the two eighties in the two seventies. Every time I get on my diet, I'm I'm falling into a trap. I'm listening to the news. I shouldn't be listening to the news with all the gas prices and stuff going up. I shouldn't be listening to my friends saying there's going to be a war. I'll just eat. I shouldn't be listening to my other friends. Oh, you only live once. And I'm like, well, I may only live once, but do I want to live with diabetes, with my feet cut off, maybe my hands, hands cut off, and feeling sorry for myself just because I couldn't do a diet even though I can do a diet because it's it's like the hardest thing in the world and the easiest thing in the world at the same time but I can see the damage happening to my feet I can see the damage happening to my legs I can see the damage you know if you you, you keep having sugar and so you cut yourself it takes a long time even if you just have sugar one day or like let's say you fast all week and then have sugar that's still a crippling effect on your body. And, you know, you can tell if you've got a bad um, circulation and stuff because when you get a cut on your feet or your hands or your legs or something, it takes ages for it to heal. Or if you're fasting and eating normal, like keto food and stuff like that, then it's all cool. You know, it heals really quickly. I have What I have been doing at the moment now, I've been on my bike a couple of times, because I only like going out when it's dry weather. And I've been having cold showers. I think my hairs are growing on my leg more. Making me warmer. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, they normal. And I'm, I'm doing like one diet day. Then I'm not doing a diet day. Then I'm doing a couple of diet days. And then I'm not doing a diet day. Today I'm doing a diet day. I'm going to be eating eggs. Because I have to get rid of the garlic butter. Another excuse to get rid of garlic box. You should just like eat it like that. But you know, excuses. And then hopefully stay on my um get myself fat get into a fast. That's pretty much what I wanna do, but I'm just struggling at the moment. I need to break the two sixty pound mark and I need to lose 
eating power. I was supposed to do a 10 day fast, could only manage two days before I had a crazy nightmare. So, yeah, 10 minutes of rambling, and I'll see what I can do. But, you know, the first thing I need to do, the first thing, I need to get into the keto swing of things. Staying on keto and not let myself get sucked into more chocolate and chippies and takeaways and stuff like that because it's like oh look one Uber Eats and it'll be buy one get one free it should have been 30 quid but you now it's 15 quid and then you buy it and it comes and you're like what the f, f is all this rubbish there's nothing here you know even though there's lots of stuff there it feels like there's nothing there and at the same time it's going to destroy my body so you know, everything's got expensive, um, but I get suckered in a lot, and I need to stop getting myself suckered in. So this is the Imtronia one. Still a bit of 80, 90, 100, still 72 pounds down. Oh. But I, I need to get into a routine again of fasting and giving up sugar. Giving up sugar, or not eating so much sugar and eating so much, is my number one priority, which goes hand in hand with losing weight anyway. So, yeah. This is M21. Hope you all have a good Thursday, Friday and a weekend. And I'll see you when I do another update. Leaders.